I just scalped my lawn. Why would I do that? Hey everyone, it's Mike. One of the things you may have heard talked about before, especially with Bermuda grass, is scalping your lawn and doing it intentionally. A lot of the time, scalping a lawn is something we think of and it's not good. We, we try to avoid it. But with Bermuda grass, the way it grows through the growing season, it makes sense at times to cut it down lower than where the green vegetation is, down to the brown stalks and let new growth come up. It makes it look healthier, it helps it grow thicker, it allows it to spread rather than grow up and get the seed heads on it that we try to avoid. One last time we want to scalp it though, now that we're approaching fall, and with overseeding projects underway, it makes sense to get rid of the top growth, get it down to the stalks and give us more exposure to the dirt, so that way we have better seed to soil contact when we put our seed down. So today, what I'm gonna do is start scalping the lawn. I'm not gonna go all the way down to the dirt, but what I'm gonna do is start incrementally lowering the height of cut. I usually keep my Bermuda grass around two inches with the mower. I use a rotary mower and two inches is a really good place for the Bermuda to be. So what I'm gonna do today is lower the height of cut on the mower and start scalping the lawn and preparing it for seeding next week. It makes the lawn look bad because it'll be brown, but it's something that has to be done in the summer for a healthy Bermuda lawn to ensure good new growth and spreading of the grass and in the fall for preparing for seeding. So that's what we're gonna do now. So stick around, I'm gonna catch some footage of this. As you can see with the mower here, the notches for the wheels are where we can set the, the wheel height at for the height of cut. You can also go in between them. The tab that the wheels are attached to can fit in between. Ideally, to scalp it, we're going to be on that first one, and that's where we're going to end up here either at the end of the weekend or early next week. But today, I'm going to go in between them so it's a lower cut. One other thing to note, with it being so thick and the Bermuda growing how it's been growing lately, I don't want to bag it or mulch it right away. It would bog the mower down. So I'm putting the side discharge feature on my Toro so I can get it all out of the way so the blade can clear, uh, cleanly cut the grass. And then I'm going to do a second pass with the bag to pick up all the clippings. It'll be a lot easier that way to do the two separate passes. done mowing now and as you can see the yard is scalped it's really really hot i'm drenched in sweat but i have to do one more thing before we're done for today as you can see down here in the grass there's a ton of clippings and we don't want those on the yard because those will dry out and it'll cause issues when we try to seed what we want to try to do is get all that picked up so i'm going to run over it with the bagger and that'll be it for today all right everyone so now we've done two different steps today with scalping the bermuda grass getting it ready for the kentucky bluegrass seeding next week First, we lowered the height of cut down um, 
one level, it's a half a notch on my mower. And doing that took all the green top growth off the grass and exposed all the brown stalks. It also exposed a lot of dirt. You can really see now that we scalped it, a lot of areas have opened up. You can really start seeing the dirt, stuff that you couldn't see with the thick top growth on the Bermuda before. Uh, it's like this all across the lawn. Now, once we do one more scalp, getting this down even lower, we'll see even more dirt which is gonna be great for seed to soil contact. So that's it for today. We went ahead and did the first scalp on the lawn. We have one more scalp to go. Then we're gonna put some topsoil on a few of the low areas and then get that seed out next weekend. So hit that subscribe button because I wanna have you follow me along as I continue this blue muta experiment, turning my Bermuda grass into a blue muta, bluegrass, Bermuda grass hybrid mix. So we'll see you on the next one.